Whoa! Huh? What's up? That's a little more longing than I'd expect to see from someone staring at a convenience store. Something you want? Huh? Oh, no, it's... I'm so glad I stuck around for the last power orb drawing. Seriously, the last prize? How lucky is that? Talk about scoring right at the buzzer! Last prize? Wait a minute here. Are you seriously pining over a raffle drawing? Last prize? Wasn't that Foundation of the Stars? Hello? Saki, you all there? I can't believe there's already been a winner chosen for it. Oh, I was so close! Earth to Saki! Asahi, there's something I need us to find right now! Huh? Power Orb. It's absolutely crucial I buy tickets. Where's the nearest door that hasn't had its drawing yet? Uh, do you even watch anime, though? Because Power Orb is a themed raffle, and the prizes right now are all... Don't worry about that. Just tell me where I can buy tickets. Uh, okay. Maybe try an arcade or something. Gossin at the station's Electric Town exit is probably a safe bet. Don't just stand there, then. Let's get going! Hey, hold up! It's a store! We gonna get some items? can I do for you? I'm interested in buying tickets for the Power Orb raffle from the poster there. Do you have any left? Oh, I'm very sorry, but that particular drawing's already been sold out. What? Seriously? I'm afraid so. Uh, the show may be kind of old school, but its roots run pretty deep. Tickets went real fast. Ugh, that's two stores sold out so far. How could this happen? That's actually a really good question. There's clearly been some sort of foul play at work. Uh, what? Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any raffle tickets left, would you? I'm terribly sorry, but we're all out. What? Oh, damn. I really wanted that pure mercury body pillow. God, even here. They're ganking the tickets everywhere. They? Somebody's buying up all the tickets? What do you know about all this? All this? What are you talking about? Do I know you? The raffle tickets for the power up drawing. Spill it, Buster. Why are they sold out everywhere? Oh, that. Yeah, there's some jerk buying up every ticket, winning all the prizes, then flipping them on FBay. Dude's pretty infamous at this point. And he is none too popular, believe me. Flipping? I've heard that term before. Doesn't that mean... In this case, buying up supply and creating demand, then turning around and selling everything at a high profit. Well, that's rude. We can't allow that to continue, can we? Think of all the little Susies who won't have tickets. Come on, Asaki. We need to beat this flipper at his own game and buy up all the raffle tickets we can find. Seriously? I mean, okay, if you want, but are you really that big a fan of the show? It's a magical girl anime for little kid. No time to argue. We have to move. Where do you think we'll find some, Asaki? Where? Yeah, fine, you win. Stop pulling my arm. I'm going, I'm going. Let's see. There should be a figurine shop around here called Hawks. They might have a few left. Good, good. Hawks it is. Let's make like Hawks ourselves and fly. This is the place. Don't get your hopes up, though. They're probably out, too. Wait here, Asahi. I'll get those tickets for sure this time. Man, not a single ticket left. Uh, this is the worst. Asahi, you have to think. Who else might still have some available? <laughs> what a haul today. Oh, the cash is just gonna be rolling in. Saki, it's him! Hold it right there! What? Who the hell are you? The bringers of justice! The bringers of... what? Uh, this girl does not represent me. Listen up, guy. Your flipping days are over. Give up the ghost, see? You're ruining things for the real fans. People who actually want these can't get their hands on them at those prices. 
Hey, there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing here. I'm laying down my own hard-earned cash for all the tickets. So just because you've got a fat wallet, you think you can waltz into this fandom and buy anything you please, huh? What you're doing is unconscionable. It's unfan-like behavior. Yeah, and so what if it is? So, Buttons, allow me to introduce myself. I am she who glitters even among the stars above. I am pure Venus, and this punch is delivered with the force of the expanding universe. Uh, what's your deal? Look, if you want one of the prizes so badly, I'll give you one. Here, just get off my back. Hey, don't just throw things at people. Were you raised in a barn? Saki, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It wasn't heavy or anything. Besides, I'm... You're she who glitters even among the stars above. Pure Venus, right? What? How do you know about that? You just said it. What? Do you seriously not remember just saying you'd punch that guy with the force of the expanding universe? Lies! All lies! You're a lying liar who lies about his lies! Uh, okay. So do you not want this then? Do I not want what? The thing that guy threw at you. It's merchandise from Magical Girl Squad, Pure Stars. As far as shows for little girls go, it's kind of a masterpiece. Really takes me back. Pretty messed up raffle prize though, don't you think? Giving actual transformation makeup to kids? Hand it over! That is the foundation of the stars! So you're actually going to use it? What? You trying to transform yourself into a magical girl for real? Uh, shut up, Asahi. I hate you. Oh, what do I do? It would be pointless to try again. This is a real pickle. Um, excuse me, is something wrong? Oh, no, no. I've just grown a bit worried. I'm the manager of this figurine shop, you see, and it feels like my customer base has been, well, shrinking of late. Shrinking? Hmm. You don't think? Yeah. We could have a potential to loser situation on our hands. Let's pick us brain a bit. Sir, I was just wondering, is your shop in danger of closing as a result of your low customer base? Mm, not exactly. It's not an immediate concern, at least. But if things keep up like this, it could become one. If it's all right with you, could I ask for a few more details about your specific situation? Well, th that's a rather odd thing to ask. It's fine, I suppose, but it'll just be me grumbling for 20 minutes or so. These days, everyone's buying things off the internet, so I've been trying to come up with some ways to up my numbers. One of the ways to do that, I realized, was to try targeted marketing towards female customers. That makes sense. In my experience, when women find something they like, they stick with it for a long time. Right. Characters popular for even the shortest of time still have lesions of female fans utterly devoted to them. So I, uh, figured I'd start steadily targeting women with my figurine orders. And the shipments began pouring in. But I'm not exactly a ladies' man. I guess you could say I built it, but they haven't come. I need to find some ways to attract more female customers and make them feel comfortable in my store. Well, if that's all you're worried about, maybe I could try bringing in some female business for you. I'm pretty good at appealing to the feminine mind if I do say so myself. For real? You do that for me? That would totally save my hide. If you're serious about helping, well, I hate to ask, but would you pass these flyers out to girls around town? Specifically girls who seem like they get anime, passionate and bubbly. They're the key to good sales. Got it. I'll come back after I spread the word. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the help. Uh, Saki? Is this really the time to be volunteering for a marketing job? It's fine. It might even be related to the delusions in some way. And it gives us a good excuse to talk to people. Saki? Pretty sure that girl's a bona fide otaku. Oh, right, score! Let's give her one of the flyers. Excuse me. 
me, but you seem troubled. Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. I thought she was my friend, dog. She knew how much I love my sweet crimson plum. But then she went ahead and did it anyway. She just popped onto her sock puppet account and started clipping how much bigger a fan she is. Cold F, am I right? Ugh, just thinking about it makes me so, 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 so angry. Crimson Plum, sock puppets? Asahi, explain. Crimson Plum is a popular anime hero, and sock puppets are secret secondary online accounts used for nefarious ends. Oh, okay then. I was the one who introduced her to him, me, and now this? What in the ever-loving fudge is her major malfunction? So, this Crimson Plum, what kind of character is he? Oh, he's just the cutest. The cutest, dog. He's the eldest son of seven kids, and... Uh, Saki, this seems like it could go on for a while. How about we give her the flyer in Vamoose? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Hey, I don't suppose Crimson Plum's on this flyer anywhere, is he? Huh? What flyer? Oh, yes! That's him right there! That's my husband -o. Wait, does this shop have the limited edition figurine of him in stock? Yo, that's like super mega ultra rare! Hmm, maybe it's overstock from canceled pre-orders. All I know is, if you want it, now's your chance. Whoa, for realsies? I need to get over there like yesterday! Never thought I'd be able to find my boy in figure form. Thanks for the Joho dog! This will show the world who the real Crimson Plumber is. Oh. Well, that was certainly a thing. What I tell you, this is, as they say, my jam. It's a store. We gonna get some items? You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. Well, what do you think? Should we check the place out? Um, well, I do kind of want to, but like... Those two seem promising. Let's go talk to them. Excuse me, you two wouldn't happen to be in the figurines, would you? Huh? Uh, well... See, we heard that this place just started selling figurines of the characters from our favorite anime. Right, but... We've never been to a figurine shop before, and we're a little skeeved. These places are such boys' clubs, right? Oh, I know what you mean. But if that's all that's bothering you, never fear. Instead, here, take one of these flyers. What's this now? This shop is trying to expand to the female fan base. The owner wants it to be a no-pressure, fun kind of place. Oh, let me see. Look, look! It's an Azure Plum figurine! And an Emerald Plum one, too! Naturally, the second and third sons are just so dreamy. Well, what do you think? Can we count on your business? Oh, absolutely. We'll head on in right now. Yeah, I've got a pretty good feeling about this place. Thanks so much. We look forward to seeing you there. Nailed it! A twofer, even! You've got the business smile down, Pat, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of used to it at this point. Used to it? Just take a good look at the figurines, then see if you change your tune. When they're done well, they're art. You don't understand, you, you won't even give them a chance. Yeah, yeah, but those characters with their skimpy outfits, the stores that sell them are totally just boys clubs. It's all just a bunch of pervy junk. Why would I want to take a good look at crap like that? Oh, would you listen to yourself? So close-minded. Let's go talk to those two, shall we? Time out, you two. Who the- First off, here, take one of these, both of you. Huh? What's this? Some kind of flyer? <gasps> it's got an opal plum figurine on it! This store is working hard 
smart to be a one-stop destination for all the kinds of figurines women enjoy. Oh, no kidding. I had no idea there was a place like this around here. See, I told you. Figurines for women are all the rage lately. You're all about Opal Plum, right? You want to go take a look together? Yeah, I guess so. If they've got Opal Plum figurines there, they can't be all that bad. All right, that's what I'm screaming. <laughs> um, thank you. This could be the start of something beautiful, and it's all because of your flyer. Not at all, thank you. We look forward to seeing you at the store. Nice job. Yeah, and we bagged a guy customer while we were at it, too. Whew. The last flyer has found a home. Nice work. A little too nice, in a way. How come you're so good at this again? I didn't actually say, but it's because I do this kind of thing a lot at my part-time job. Huh? You have a job? Yep. I work at a sports bar on my days off from school. It's a pretty popular place. We have so many customers, I guess I'm just used to meeting demands and schmoozing. Hmm. Interesting. Probably also doesn't hurt that the place's uniform is super cute, though. But never mind that. Considering your chosen profession, I imagine all this work talk isn't really doing it for you. In other words, take some time and find a job, dingus. Hey! You're a pretty neat-like little thing yourself. I don't see you working. Being adorable is my job, I'll have you know. I'll show you adorable, you little... That's enough of that now. Let's head back to the figurine shop and see if business is booming. With all these new customers, the manager ought to be happy as a clam. You're back. Yep, doing good business now, I hope. <laughs> if by good you mean great, then yeah. Thanks to you folks, this place is hopping. We've had a veritable cavalcade of female customers, and figurines are just flying off the shelves. I haven't seen this kind of business in such a long time. I'm so happy, I could cry. That's great. I'm really glad we could be of some help to you. Thank you both so much. I don't know how I could ever repay you. He's sure looking chipper. Mm-hmm. A job well done. And we didn't even have to contend with any weird delusions along the way. As always, Saki is the bestest. Oh, hey. Glad I caught you before you left. This is for you, as a token of my appreciation. Yeah. Hmm? What the heck? Saki, did he just see Pinkoon? That's a good question. Hmm. Must have up and left. Pity. This definitely raises some questions. Oh, well, forgive a poor figurine man his imagination. I just thought I saw a cute little fairy in here. <laughs> Probably something I ate coming back to haunt me. Anyway, I wanted to give you a token of my thanks. This is for you. Wow, thank you very much. Come again anytime. Because of you, this place is going to do just fine. Hey, am I on figurine shop impossible? <laughs> Get it. Hey, Saki, you don't think that guy could be a loser, do you? Well, he did notice Pinkoon, so that's a pretty reasonable question. But, eh, uh, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Based on his reaction, I'm sure he's good. Man, are you feeling okay? He was mighty shocked, wasn't he? Pinkoon, you can't just be popping out as you please. You know better. I know, but you could have just pretended I was. Plum. Yeah, that's it. There is no Sakura Plum. Yeah. It's fine, though. Anyway, before we leave, I think I'll go buy a figurine to keep us company, if you get my drift. Ew, no, no, no. You're not one of those guys, are you? What? No, I'm talking about her. You know. Uh, no, I don't. She who glitters even among the stars above. Pure Venus, your favorite? Oh, that's okay. We don't need her.
Get your kebabs right here. Crazy cheap, crazy delicious. You'd be crazy not to. Oh, no thanks. Hey, Asahi, what's up with all the kebab stands in Akihabara? Now that you mention it, that's a good question. I've never really thought about it, but it is kind of weird, huh? Well, I've thought about it enough for the both of us, and it's made me hungry. Let's go grab a bite somewhere, okay? I think you're just always hungry. No thought required. But still, but still, food does sound kind of good right now. You too, huh? All right, how about we just grab some of those kebabs? <sighs> you're such a guy. Huh? But you said you were hungry after kebabs made you think of food. I mean, causation, correlation, hello? Yes, I am hungry, but not for kebabs. Inference is key, Asahi. What do you say we go get something sweet? Sweet and bad for you. Ooh, I like bad for you sweets too. From time to time, anyway. From time to time? I'm good with anything I shove down my gullet personally. I don't know, junk food is a scam. It tastes good, but you leave just as hungry as when you came, so you end up overeating. Guy response. Or maybe just a classic Asahi response. <laughs> it's a maiden thing. You wouldn't understand. You're right. I wouldn't. Anyway, where's a good place to go for something sweet? Well, let's see. Um, how about crepes? Would that please your majesty? Oh, yes! Crepes! That's perfect! Good. Juan Quixote on Main Street should have you covered then. They call me Pink, the Pink Shark. Because I'm a card shark, baby! Here we are. Oh, these look amazing. Fresh strawberry cream crepes for me. Hmm, maybe tuna curry for me. Weren't you in this for the sweets? The stomach wants what it wants, okay? What are you gonna get? Hmm, apple cinnamon creme with cake topping, maybe. <laughs> Guess the influence of a maiden's heart can make even scams like this seem appetizing, huh? Voila! Here you are! Bon appétit. Don't mind if I do. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, this is overbearingly sweet. Well, mine was delicious. You're already done? Well, how was it? Were the hearts and stomachs of you beautiful maidens adequately satiated? Hmm. No, 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 no. I mean, it was good. But maybe I wasn't actually feeling crepes after all? What? Man, you are fickle. So if not crepes, then what? Maybe... some ice cream. Yeah, that's it. Ice cream. I'm thinking ice cream. Ice cream, huh? Yeah. Nothing beats a cold cone outside the Horace building after class. Great way to unwind. Hmm, somehow I'm craving it now, too. I don't think I understand your maidenly stomachs at all. You know what you have to do. So lead the way, dingus! <sighs> yeah, yeah. Let's head to Etri by the station's electric town exit. Sounds good to me. Forward march. Wanted. You're not even planning to buy me any, are you? Saki! Saki! Mm, this is so good! The strawberry soft serve is really tasty, too! Oh, whew. you actually did get one for me. Though your choice of flavors is a little odd. Vanilla for me and edamame for you? Yeah, I know. It's not as sweet. Just kind of had a nostalgia attack in there, I guess. I used to eat this after school all the time. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that before, too. A cold cone outside the Horace building after class or something, right? Did I say that? Huh. Did you eat ice cream every single day? What? No, of course not. I'm not that much of a 
glutton? How can you even imply that of a lady? I mean, I did have it a lot, but it was always after sports meets and stuff. Oh, what sport did you play, Saki? I was the city rep for track and field. That was more than a year ago, though. I'm actually really curious to hear all about your high school days, Saki. That's not a particularly interesting tale. I wore the same clothes and went to the same school as everybody else. I was the go-to pinch hitter during athletic festivals, though, so I wound up participating in a dozen or so events. And whenever there was a cultural festival, I'd make Western-style clothes, even did some fashion shows. Ah, <sighs> the good old days. Wow, that sounds like every schoolgirl trope ever. I somehow would have expected something a lot weirder from you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It means you're an odd duck, Saki. I wish I could have seen you in your school uniform. I bet it was cute. And those were fun times, but I was a little too popular, you know? Things were always crazy around Valentine's Day. That's totally a lie. No, I'm serious. The thing is... What? Saki went to an all-girls high school. Pinkoon? Yeah! <laughs> Wait, so you're saying you got Valentine's from other girls? Uh, well, that's... It's okay, Saki. I totally get it. I can totally... understand. I just heard a camera click. Yeah, I heard it too. And it definitely seemed like the flash was pointed in this direction. You think it's... a stalker? I highly doubt that. I should have anticipated this. I'm just too darn cute. Uh-huh. This isn't the first time I've had this happen. I've definitely been on the wrong side of a shutter before. Sure you have. It's not just eyes on me either. People talk too. I can sense it. Whenever said their words, wishing they'd be heard. Yep, I hear ya. You don't believe me? Come on, I'm seriously getting a little skeeved out here. I need you to help me track down and neutralize whatever manner of creep or creeps might be stalking me, okay? I'm telling you, it's all in your head. No one's stalking you. It's not all in my head. You'll see. Something smells rotten in Akiba, and I'm determined to dig it up. Let's smoke these sleazeballs out. Operation Beatstock begins now! Ugh, seriously? I'm thirsty! Can we stop for a sec and buy stuff? Save point! You better use it in case the power goes out! Again? Saki, it's that guy. Ooh, what a shot. The camera loves you, baby. You're caught, creeper. Crap. Mind if I take a look at that photo? Uh, well. Holy, it really is a photo of Saki. I told you, you can't say I didn't tell you. Um, if there's nothing else, I really must be going now. Not a chance, you degenerate. Not until you tell me why in the hell you've been snapping candid shots of me. And even then, whether or not you can go depends very heavily on your answer. I wasn't stalking you, I swear. I thought you were famous since I saw your picture on the net. That's the only reason I snapped shots of you. Honest! Uh, come again? What are you talking about? Where the heck did you see photos of me? Uh, a friend showed them to me, but... I don't really remember what site he got them from. They were definitely you, though. No doubt about it. Okay, I guess I can accept that. But you're going to delete all the photos you've taken of me, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm very sorry. Saki, why would photos of you be up on the internet? That's what I want to know. You don't think some pervert's been selling me off to some sleazy website, do you? Actually... Didn't Akemi say something about how we've started to become kind of infamous from our questioning? You think there might be a connection to the delusions here? That guy didn't seem like a deluser or anything. I guess all we can really do is try to track down whoever's responsible and bring him to justice. Come on, Asahi! Yeah, this does definitely bear further investigation. No worries, Saki. I'll lend you a hand.
Whoa! Is she the real deal? Ugh, that guy's looking pretty shady. Let's go see what he knows. Do you know me by any chance? Holy free holies, you totally are the real deal. Can't believe my luck. You're not just a look-alike, right? You really are the chick they're all talking about online, right? You are so much cuter in person. Oh, you think I'm cute? Yo, Earth to Saki. Creepy doings are a transpiring. What? Oh, oh my. I was just about to be lured into the enemy's trap, wasn't I? I don't think I'd go quite that far. <laughs> Typical. She's already got a boyfriend. Don't jump to conclusions. Also, who the hell are you and how the hell do you know Saki? Who's talking about Saki online and what are they saying? Is it a pervy candid shot sight? Tell me the truth. I can handle it. A pervy... what? No, I don't think so. Uh, you were totally posing. You looked really natural too, like you were enjoying yourself. I was... posing? Um... hold on a second. Ah, yeah, look, it's this site here. You're about to find out the source of my mysterious online presence. Yeah, okay. Let's not waste any more time then. Let's just get off the crowded street for a sec and take a look. Alright, let's see now. What the heck kind of site is this? Oh, it's... What? What is it? Is there really a photo of me on there? Oh, yeah. A bunch of them. And, well... Well, what? They've got a ton of excellence across the board. Excellence? What does that mean? There's an excellent button under each photo. And I guess you click it if you like what you see. Here, look. There are cute photos of you and photos where you're rocking some pretty stylish clothes. What the heck? I know, right? And this one was taken on a regular old street corner. But there you are, posing away. <laughs> Check this one out. You're listed as an Akiba beauty. Can you believe it? Excuse me? Oh, you're excused. But I mean, these definitely aren't candid shots. Do you really not remember posing for these, Saki? Hmm. No, I really don't. And I certainly never gave permission for them to be posted. These are completely unauthorized. Where was this even taken? Looks like the side streets of Akiba to me. So the culprit's lurking on the periphery of the town, then. Come on, Asahi. We've got a creep to catch. Somehow I don't entirely believe her when she says these were taken without her permission. Call it a hunch. Save point. You'd better use it in case the power goes out. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Mo Moe Tan, we, we could be to together together soon. Yo, Nekara! Uh, who? Wait, aren't you. Ken Nekara, the guy who's always chasing after Moe. Probably doesn't remember us, though. What is it? Do you need something from me? Yeah, an explanation. Why have you been taking photos of Saki? Um, wait, Asahi. I think I remember now. Uh, um, excuse me. Huh? Are you talking to me? Yeah, yes, that that's right. Uh, um, would uh, do you do you think I could, um, maybe t take some pictures of you? What? Pictures? Oh well, uh, you you see, it's for a, a fashion fashion shoot. And uh, Akihabara, um, style shoot. You you're um just. So, so, so pr pr uh, um, beautiful, beautiful. I, I, I thought I'd, I, I'd ask. Hmm. Well, I'm in a good mood today, so why not? Th thank you. Th thanks very much. 
Saki, what the hell? What the hell indeed? That's exactly how it happened. So you made this whole big deal over nothing? Though I'm actually more interested in hearing this pipsqueak side of things for the moment. Y you mean me? It just strikes me as a little sketchy that you're taking photos of people other than your beloved Moe. It's, it's, it's for my, my, my job. I, I've got a, a part-time job as a f photographer. Y you have to believe me. Hmm. Well, you didn't seem to remember Saki at all when we met just now. So your story does check out there. M M Moe Tan is the only girl I, I have eyes for. I I'm not interested in, in a a anyone else at all. Can, can, can I go now? I I'm going to, to go. Bye. Guess he was just being polite for his job when he told you all that. He was probably thinking of Moe at the time. Hmm. Well, it's all right, I suppose. The mystery is solved now, and all is well. Still, it is pretty unlike you. What is? You strike me as the kind of person who'd be endlessly camera shy. Were you really in that good a mood when he approached you for those photos? Oh, I see. He, uh, just happened to catch me at a really good time. There was a fashion show at school that day. A fashion show? At school? What, didn't I tell you? I may nullify delusions by night, but by day, I'm just a student at a fashion design institute. And the day that guy approached me just so happened to be one of our shows. As in, a school show, not a real one. But whether it's for class or for the camera, fashion shows always put me in the best mood. I love the spotlight. <laughs> now the pieces are all starting to fall into place. What do you mean? Those pictures were definitely of you, but something about them seemed off. They just gave off a different vibe. Oh, like I was radiant, maybe? Yeah, yeah, all blushy like that. Your cheeks were super red, but you were also wearing way too much eyeliner. And your eyelashes looked really fake, too, probably because they were, right? And your hair. Ah, oh, that hair. Uh, Sahi. Asahi, what's up with that girl over there? She seems pretty distraught, yeah. Wonder what's wrong. I'm gonna go check. What? Hey, wait a sec! Excuse me, is something wrong? <laughs> it's alright. She's cool, honest. A little nosy, but that's nothing to get freaked out over, probably. Uh, Asahi? <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll be okay. There, there. If you're in trouble, I want to help. <laughs> really? Okay. Earlier some guy was trying to... to hit on me. Uh-oh. Was he creepy? Yeah. He was so... aggressive. It really freaked me out. Say no more. Some dude threatening a sweet-seeming girl like you is something I cannot sit back and tolerate. Honestly, I'd heard stories, but I didn't think that sort of thing really happened all that much in Akihabara. It really doesn't, usually. But lately? I guess incidences have been on the rise a little. Female otaku in particular are targeted a lot, usually by scummy guys pulling the old photoshoot scam. They think nerdy girls are too shy or weak-willed to say no, so they single them out and accost them on the street. What? That's the lowest of low. Excuse me, miss. Where was it that this guy tried to hit on you? Um, well, it was on Main Street, just as I was leaving Animart. Got it. Wait, you're not actually thinking of- Come, Asahi! We're going to teach that guy a lesson, then boot him out of Akihabara so he can think about what he did. Come, Asahi? Am I your manservant now? Seriously, wait up! Delusion 
This should be the place. Hmm. Don't see any sleaze buckets around, at least at a glance. We have to look harder. He may be hiding in the shadows, waiting to pounce. Let's ask around. Maybe somebody's seen him. They call me Pink. But do you have a moment? Huh? Sure, I guess. What is it? Have you seen a super aggressive flirty guy around here? Oh, yes! He was trying to get all up in my biznatch. Uh, come again? It was a total pain. He was hella persistent, even though I told him I'm not interested in guys. Did you see where he went? I don't know. He just left. And I was like, good riddance, you duck and duck face. Autocorrect. All right, thanks for the tip. Good to know we're at least on the right track. Asahi, let's keep looking. As you wish. Uh, before you go... Hmm? Here, take this. What is it? It's my email address. I kind of like to get yours too, so we can hook up sometime. What? I mean, are you sure? Like, for real? Seems to me we may have found our creeper after all, and his name's Asahi. Um, not that I don't appreciate the thought, but seriously, me? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm cool with it. It's just... No, I mean, what are you talking about? It's not you I'm interested in. I want her address. Me? Um, do you mind if I drop you a line? I'd like to chat with you a little. You're just, uh, exactly my type. Maybe if we hit it off, we could go grab a bite sometime, or something. Uh, I... what? <laughs> right. I'm not good enough for you, I get it. No, I... I mean, you... I'm sorry! Hey, wait! Using the old not interested in guys excuse and actually meaning it? Gotta say, I did not see that coming. Hey, sorry to bug you, but do you have a sec? Uh, not again. Again? I already told you, I'm not interested. Oh, no, I'm not hitting on you. Yeah, I've heard that before. Pretend like you're not interested, then bam, the debauching begins. Is that it? Uh, I'm sorry. He's really not trying to flirt with you. Please, calm down. Already got a girlfriend, huh? That's even worse. I... Girlfriend? You are totally misreading this situation. Does that mean you think I look cute? Like I'm on a date? And you, stop blushing, damn it. Blushing? Who's blushing? I'm just sunstroking. Yes, that's it. I'm in serious medical danger. Oh, please. You two are clearly a thang. Look, I'm not hitting on you, and we are not a bang. We're trying to track down the guy who is hitting on people. That's right. He's extremely aggressive and has been seen in this area. And I'm guessing he tried his hand on you, too. Oh, well, why didn't you say so sooner? Sorry to have been on the defensive there. It's quite all right. I understand, believe me. Anyway, do you have any idea where Mr. Sleazeball might have gone? Hmm. Where did he go? I think he was headed off toward Junk Street. I'm not super sure, though. Sorry. Oh, no problem. Any lead puts us ahead of where we were before. Thanks for your time. No, no, think nothing of it. Anyway, have fun on your date, you two. Uh, no, we are not dating. You hear me? Not dating. Ah, oh, come on. Let's just go. by a sleazy pickup artist around here, would you? A pickup artist? Hmm, I don't think so, no. I don't remember anyone like that. All right, thank you. Ooh, wait, wait. Actually, there was some guy coming on to me pretty hard on Junk Street a while back. On Junk Street? Here I thought we finally found someone who emerged unscathed, but no such luck. What is happening to Akiba nowadays? You don't by any chance remember what kind of guy he was, do you? Uh-uh. I'm afraid I don't. 
I was ignoring him super hard, so he wound up going someplace else. But he was so persistent. He must have followed me for like a hundred meters. It was such a pain. Dude needs to take a look at himself in the mirror and ask himself why he thinks he can talk to me. Uh, but you're a maid. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm not talking to a guy who's three-dimensional. That's just one too many dimensions, you know? You got what I'm saying, right? Uh, uh... It's like, why isn't this world two-dimensional? You feel me? You do feel me, don't you? I, uh... <sighs> I want to go into the world of 2D. That's the only place I really belong. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope you can find a way to get there. Let's go, Asahi. Okay, I think we've got enough info to go on. Let's take this investigation at Junk Street, shall we? Are you seriously serious about tracking this guy down and confronting him? Of course I am. Now come on, there's no time to lose. Yeah, yeah. Check that guy out. Which one? That guy with the smartphone. Doesn't it look like he's staring a little too intently at the girls around here? Um, maybe? You should go over there. We're going to hit him with a sting operation, and you can be the bait. B bait Asahi, what are you? Damn it, Asahi, we didn't discuss this. Excuse me. Who, me? Yes, you. Do you think you could give me some directions? Directions? You see, this is my first time in Akihabara, and I'm a bit lost. And when I get lost, I get... <laughs> flustered. Uh, okay. So, where is it you were wanting to go? Well, I'm trying to get to the station. Can you tell me what direction that's in? Oh, sure. Just the main Akihabara station, right? That's the one. Okay, that's easy. You just... Oh! Sorry, my mistake. It's not Akihabara Station, it's... what was it again? Oh yes, Ochanamizu Station. All right. In that case, you'll want to head to Akiba Shrine, then just go straight from there. Can't miss it. Akiba Shrine? Where's that? Um, it's just right down this road. You know, I'd feel much better if you showed me the way there, if it's not too much of an inconvenience. Well, okay. I guess I can do that. It's not far, so... Hold it right there! A Asahi? A guy? Saki, you are far too naive. What? What do you mean? Oh, hell. This is our pickup artist. He asks women for directions, gets them to show him around, then charms them along the way. What? <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? You've got that smartphone. Can't you just pull up a map or ask Seely to guide you? Uh, uh, no, I can't. My battery's almost dead. Oh, I see. Well, then how about I just show you the way? Ochonomizu Station, right? Follow me, sir. Uh, no. That's quite all right. I'm good. I've suddenly remembered some urgent business I need to attend to. See? I didn't even realize. I just saved your butt. Or your virtue, anyway. How about a little thanks? Oh, no, no, no! You were the one who sent me out as bait in the first place. It's all your fault I got mixed up with that guy. What? N no, that's not... You are the worst. No, I... You wanted... You were... Yes, yes, it's fine now. And I suppose we did succeed in sending that guy packing, so something good came of it. Let's go tell the girl at the station the good news, assuming she's still there. Is that all the thanks I'm going to get? Sheesh. Why do I even bother sometimes? No need to look so gloomy. We've got good news. We got him! The guy who tried to pick you up has been booted from Akihabara at long last! R really So I can finally take my time and shop till I drop without having to get skeeved on by that creeper again? 
thank you both so much. You're very welcome. Now go and enjoy your shopping skis free. Guess that takes care of that. We should probably report in with Akemi, so she and her sources can keep an eye out for that guy. You know, all this ledger busting has made me hungry. I could really go for a bite to eat. A bite to eat, you say? Well, pretty miss, what sort of heavenly ambrosia can I treat you to? Uh, Pinkoon? What's gotten into you? I'm practicing my pickup lines. Pretty smooth, eh? You're a floating pink puff. You'd stand a marginally better chance hitting on someone's pet. Good! Well, get your tasty made parfait made to order here! Today only we've made them cheaper than ever! Hmm... What is it? Something up? You can't possibly be hungry. The hunger rises! <sighs> Saki? What's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Oh, it's nothing. She's totally spaced out. What the heck is going on with her? Dingus, come with me. Huh? What? What? What is it? Have you noticed Saki acting a little... out of sorts lately? Out of sorts? She hasn't been hungry. Saki. Our Saki. Not wanting to stuff her gullet. This is bad. Exactly. And it has me really worried. Have you noticed any other changes in her behavior or anything? I have. I have. I saw her looking up information on her hometown from her phone. She was really quiet and kind of distant looking when she did it, too. You think maybe she's just homesick? What do you mean? What's homesick? Oh. Uh, it's like when you think about your hometown and start feeling all nostalgic for the good old days. Actually, come to think of it. Your choice of flavors is a little odd. Vanilla for me and edamame for you? Yeah, I know it's not as sweet, but I just kind of had a nostalgia attack in there, I guess. I used to have this after school all the time. That's gotta be it! She's homesick! Well, leaving home is a sad thing. It can put anyone in a funk. Is there anything we can do about it? I don't think there's a whole lot, no. Maybe we can try to bring a little bit of her hometown flavor here? That's a great idea! It's been ages since I last had cow's tongue, and I'm ready to French old Bessie again. Wait, where did you say Saki was from? The land of that famous samurai, Date Masamune! Whoosh! Shing! Shaking! Sendai, huh? Guess that explains the edamame ice cream. We should head to Akihabara Station. If I'm not mistaken, there's a Sendai Goods exhibit going on right now. Rad plan, dingus! A little hometown pride should totally lift her spirits. Hey, Saki, let's head to Akihabara Station for a sec, okay? Huh? Why? Nothing big, don't worry about it. Just an errand I've got to run. But come with me, you'll appreciate this. A delusion scheme! We gonna go in? Hey, what's at the station? Why are we here? Just trust me, you'll see. Check it out. Is this an edamame rice cake? Damn straight. They're holding an exhibition of Sendai goods here. Reminds you of home, doesn't it? What? You mean this is for me? Oh, yeah. You're always saving my butt. It's the least I can do. Wow, seriously? You're full of surprises today. Ah, just shut up and take it, you knucklehead. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's delicious! Did... did you even chew that before you swallowed it? Mmm, that taste really takes me back. My mom used to make these for me all the time. Hey, you're looking a little more chipper now. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, no, it's nothing. Anyway, the next stop is Etri. There should be something sweet waiting for you there, too. Come on!
Okay, wait here. What could he be planning now? <laughs> King Coon? Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go. Oh my goodness! Is that really fish paste on bamboo? Brings back memories of home, huh? I remembered seeing it among the stalls selling side dishes and stuff. Hey, uh, is it really alright to eat this? You don't mind? Uh, usually people wait for a response before doing the thing they just asked about. Mmm, it's so good! This texture and flavor is superb at any time of the day and in any season! Now I have a taste for home, though. And such desires have been known to kill before. I'm not easily sated. No worries. I've got another spot all lined up. Oh, you do, do you? Yep. Just leave it to me. I hear there's a really top-quality restaurant in UBX that's got your name all over it. Just mentioning there being really good restaurants in here? I'm curious which specific one you're thinking of, though. Well, that would be this beef tongue place, of course. B beef tongue? The source of cowlicks? Wow, that's my most favorite of all meats! Thank you so much for bringing me here! Mmm, was that good or was that good? Wait a minute here. Huh? What's wrong? What's wrong? You ordered the most expensive thing on the menu. Well, you said everything was on you. Yeah, but I mean, that was like top shelf rich person beef tongue. Though I guess it was pretty good. Can't hurt to live a little every now and again. Hey, what's been up with you today? You've been acting kind of weird. Weird? Me? Come on. You're the one who's been acting weird. I mean, it looks like you're feeling fine now, but earlier you were like... Like what? What are you talking about? Homesick! You were homesick! Uh, me? Homesick? Yes, you! I'm confused. Um... Okay, Pinkoon, this is all on you. Explain. I wasn't lying or anything. I totally saw it! Saki was looking up her hometown on her phone, and she had this serious look in her eyes like a maid surveying a room before cleaning it. I mean, I was looking up Sendai, but... I don't understand the rest of what you just said. You got all quiet after you looked it up. I saw you. Yeah, so we've been trying really hard to make you feel better. But you're not actually homesick? No, I'm not. So what are you then? Yeah, you were acting so solemn. That's because I was thinking about something that's been bothering me for a while. And what would that be? I was looking up common terms and dialects and stuff. Taking precautions, just in case, you know? I mean, wouldn't it be embarrassing if I accidentally let some of my inner Sendai slip out during an interrogation? So, that's it? That's all it was? Huh? Yeah, pretty much. But then, why was your appetite so small? That's totally unlike you. I, uh, well, that's... I mean, it's been so fun eating with all of you lately. I was a little concerned I might have been... You know, overdoing it? So it was all part of a diet. Hey, maintaining this girlish figure is hard, I'll have you know. These curves don't shape themselves. Well, as long as you're happy, that's what really matters. I am. Especially knowing that you two were so worried about me. Thanks, both of you. No worries. Though now that I know where you're from, I've got to ask. How much of a native accent do you have? Uh-huh. Uh now that you mention it, when Saki first came here, her way of talking sure was pretty different. What you mean by that? Whatcha? <laughs> hey, what's this place? This is Satobukia. It's a shop that sells figurines. I think they also have plushies and stuff in there, too. I am not a plushie! I never said you were. You're a perverted pink pop. Plushie fans should get a restraining order against you. 
Actually, what are you? Like, what's your species? What's your deal? You're kind of like a dog. I'm kind of like a dinosaur. I've never seen or even heard of any other creature like you. So what are you really, Dogosaur? I'm a familiar with the storied and honorable history found in Saki's family line. Yeah, you do keep saying that. Saki, do you even have any idea what he is? Huh? Me? I is he a Delusion? If so, he's a pretty weird-looking one. That's a good question, Pinkoon. Aren't you the least bit curious to know your roots? Maybe a smidge. I thought you might be. So we have our next quest, then. We go in search of Pinkoon's true origin. How the hell are we supposed to search for something like that? The same way we do every night, Pinkoon. Uh, I mean, Asahi. Let work. We go around Akihabara and see what people say. Damn it! A freaking Triceratops again! Hey, that guy seems pretty promising. Let's see if he can tell us anything about Pinkoon. Why him? Because he's fiddling around with those dinosaur Gashapon machines. He probably knows a thing or two about dinosaurs. Excuse me, sir. Do you know anything about this little guy right here? I'm Pinkoon! Pleased to meet ya! Why? What are you? I'm a cute, pretty mascot. You can even say I'm pretty cute. Man, you can talk. And kind of fluently, too. Where'd you buy this thing? Oh, we didn't buy him. He's just, uh... Ah, stray, huh? Hard to believe a creature like this can make death. Well, exist I do. Thank you for your time, sir. Saki? Copy, I am speaking directly to your mind now. Ugh, what is his deal? An alien freak. Might be into cryptids too, though. Let's see if he can tell us anything about Pinkoon. Um, excuse me. Can we talk to you for a second? <laughs> Who are you? Are you emissaries from Venus? What? Me? V Venus? Hey now, don't go repatriating us to other planets. We're Earthlings, thank you. Oh, that's right. Venus is also... a planet. <clears throat> uh, would you happen to know anything about this little guy? The pink has landed! What in the name of the Pleiades? They call me Coon. Pink Coon. Agent Double R Cute. Am I on TV? This can't be real. Oh, it's real, buddy boy! Are you the thing whose mind I was touching? You do seem potentially alien-esque though of indeterminate origin. Hey, nobody touches my mind but me. You couldn't handle my mind. Well, to answer the lady's question, then I don't know what you are. You're like some kind of mothman, perhaps? That or a chupacabra, or maybe the corpse of a basking shark? In other words, you don't have a clue. The truth is not out there, though this guy sure is. Let's try someplace else, Skyfish. I'm no fish, Dingus. Get bent. industry is but a shell of its former self. I wonder if she'd know anything. She seems like she'd have a firm grasp on fantastical creatures, at least. Excuse me, but would you happen to know what kind of species this character here is? Hmm? Character? This character! With two thumbs and a... Well, actually, I guess I don't have thumbs. <gasps> a 
fairy? There we go! I'm a fairy! No, you absolutely aren't. You do have a strange aura to qualify as fae. Traditional fantasy may not include creatures such as you. So, not a fairy. You do speak, though. And perhaps you can speak in strange tongues, the likes of which the world has never heard. I like Japanese. What other languages have you mastered? Uh, I don't know. Oh, how unfortunate. You're rather ordinary, very unfey. In truth, I grow weary of this interaction. Ta! Such cruel bluntness! How dare she speak that way about me! Well, maybe we're thinking about this all wrong. Since you're familiar, you might be less fairy and more devil. Delusory devil, Pinkoon! <laughs> Something doesn't add up here. What's wrong, Katomi? It's... it's probably nothing. So, what have we learned about your true identity today? That's what I'd like to know. You really do want to know, don't you? Huh? Of course! Why wouldn't I? Um, Pinkoon, have you ever... Wanted to meet your parents? I've actually never thought about it. Really? Never? I'm happy just being with you, Saki. Wow. Well, thanks, I guess. So make sure you always, always, always stay with me forevermore, okay? Forevermore, huh? Saki? Oh, hey! This is where we first ran into each other, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it is. The very spot where you found me and dragged me into this whole mess. At first, I had no idea what to expect. But it all worked out for the best in the end, right? It's even been fun. It has, hasn't it? Sad to think that the end of those good times is fast approaching, though. Aw, oh, why so glum all of a sudden? I made a promise to you. I said I'd find you again after this is all over. But what I didn't say was... There's something else I need to find first. There is? What is it? Asahi, will you come with me? To where? To the Castle Delusionscape. That's where the thing I have to find is. So, why are we here exactly? On that day, you found me. Here. Alone. That's why I've got a feeling we'll find the answer I seek here too. Come on, Saki. Enough with the cryptics. What are you after? Just trust me, Asahi. And stay close. Hey, Saki, hold up! What's gotten into her? A delusion scheme! the end now. Can't you just tell me what's going on? I might be able to help you find what you're looking for if you just tell me. I'm sorry. I lied to you. Lied? I'd found it before. It was right under my nose. But I pretended like I didn't see it. Saki, 
What are you talking about? You, Pinkoon. I'm talking about you. Me? G Just follow me. I'll show you exactly what I mean. You going through the door? Better be careful if you do. You taking a save break? Me I'm first! I made it first! But yeah, but there's nothing here. Actually, there is. In fact, it's been here all along. I'd felt it from the start. But like I said, I was acting like I didn't see it. He wanted to be with me forever, after all. What are you talking about? You both know, I think. I told you about how I'd always wanted to be a chosen one, right? So I found myself caught in a web of delusions. Because that was my delusion. A desire to change the world. Right? Turns out, no. My delusion was something different altogether. The thing I truly wanted wasn't to change the world. It was you, Pinkoon. Huh? Saki, what are you saying? Think back to what all the people we questioned said when they saw you. Man, you can talk? And kind of fluently, too. That guy didn't bat an eye at your existence. He was just impressed you could talk. Oh, how unfortunate. You're rather... ordinary. Very unfey. In truth, I grow weary of this interaction. Ta! She accepted you without a second thought, too. Are you the thing whose mind I was touching? You do seem potentially alien-esque, though of indeterminate origin. And you're certainly no space alien. I don't understand, Saki. What does all that mean? I'm sorry, Pinkoon. I've known this for a while now. I think I just didn't want to admit it. But your true origin is... <laughs> What the hell is going on? This is the true form of Pinkoon that I pretended I couldn't see. So, I'm... Pinkoon was always by my side. And because of that, I was able to live out my dream of being a chosen one. I lived as a chosen one alongside the familiar I called a friend. Then you're saying Pinkoon's real form is... Yes. Pinkoon is a delusion I myself have created. Pinkoon is a delusion? It all makes sense now. It feels... natural. Freeing, even. Pinkoon? Now that you know, this existence, the one you call Pinkoon, is no longer needed, Saki. What? Why? Because you're a chosen one, with or without me. It's your destiny to nullify this unending day. Yet as long as I'm part of that destiny, you'll continue to wander the space between reality and delusion. But I... The Saki who was taken in by the delusions isn't the Saki that I fell in love with. It's the chosen Saki, who protects the world from the encroachment of the delusions that I love. But if this is how it ends, we won't be able to see each other anymore. Won't you be lonely without me? Of course I'll be lonely. But the happiness I feel will drown out the loneliness. You're... happy? Very. Because you found out what I am. You figured it out, Saki. But that's why. The true me that you uncovered is the truest me there is. How can that be, though? Because I love you, Saki, with all my heart. And you gave me this existence through your delusion. The Saki I love gave me form. What greater joy is there in life than that? Pinkoon. That's why I want you to nullify me. To validate my existence. To validate this form you created. Saki, end me. Nullify me before the close of this never-ending day. Thank you, Pinkoon. Saki. Asahi, I don't think I can do this alone. Will you help me? Are you sure this is what you want? I will nullify this encroaching delusion and protect the world. That's my Saki! Come on, Asahi. Let's do this. <laughs>
do before you die. Fearless cry! It's over! And that should be the end of the delusion. Yeah, Saki, there's no need to be sad. We can still be together for a little while longer. But when today finally ends... I'll disappear for sure. But that's looking at things so negatively when really this is a joyous occurrence. It's joyous to have been able to spend all the time with you I've had. You made me, Saki. I'm forever your familiar. Pain Kun. Saki, on that day, I was alone. And you found me. And now, you found me once again. You've discovered that I was your delusion all along. So I know you can make history repeat one more time. I know you'll be able to find Asahi again, even after you forget everything that's happened today. That was the deal. You're right. If I can't find you, I'll at least still be able to find him again once this is all over. It won't be easy, though. You sure you can handle it? I'm sure. Probably won't even be that tough, honestly. After all, I'm a chosen one. <laughs>